Hey, good morning, my friends. I'm live chief meteorologist Mark Torregrosso. What a wild weekend weather-wise in at least half of lower Michigan and most of the UP. Uh, heaviest snow totals I've seen around 30 inches of snow, almost three feet uh, around the Grand Rapids area and around Bel Air and Mancelona up in Antrim County and Charlevoix County, East Jordan, uh, probably close to that three foot mark. Now, the warmth is going to start to slide back our way. We're still in November, and we still have the potential to warm up quite a bit, and it looks like that is going to be the case. It's going to take some time, but uh, each run of the models, you know, we get those about every six hours, but each run, the last two or three, has showed the Thanksgiving, the late Thanksgiving storm system shifting south and east, the cold air behind it, not as cold. In fact, it's almost non-existent as far as a cold push now. And then the next storm starts to warm us up. So here we go. Radar shows that uh, fairly quiet this morning. You might find a snowflake or two in the thumb, but that is about it. This is where I want to start. And hopefully this shows up well for you. Um, Here's a satellite picture. On the far right is the West Coast, Washington, Oregon, California. Look at the stream of storms out there. Um, hey, good morning, Melissa Sugden. It does feel like January. And good morning, Kimberly Clink from Cairo, Michigan. Rick Beers from Northern Michigan. Good morning. Okay, so we will get into that storm feed here over the next couple of weeks, and the extended is starting to show that. But the question is, at this time of the year, do you wind up on the warm side of the storm or the cold side of the storm? We're still climatologically in the time period where the storm centers, the big red L on the map, track, oh, probably now track about across the UP or far northern lower. And anything south of that red L is in the warm side of the storm, gets mostly rain, then maybe some leftover snow. North of it, you're into the snowstorm. So that will be the thing coming up here the next couple of weeks. And I think the warmth, even though we're cold, I think it the warmth still has some uh, strength to it. And let's look at that. So this is the European model. And like I said, this one and the other models that are good uh, continue to show a trend toward warmer temperatures over time from what they had six hours before and six hours before. Hey, good morning, William Hale. Uh, hello again from Cathro. I don't know where that is. Adam Victor, you got a little snow there in Bel Air, don't you? What would you say? Give us an estimate. Okay, so here we go. You can pick out Michigan now, and you can, uh, you know, start it without anything on there. So what you see here is the pressure pattern. You see the upper level temperatures of 5,000 feet. That's the blue and red lines. Red lines get us into rain. Deep blue gets us into cold, like we're at now. And then you'll see the uh, amounts of precip every six hours. So today is breezy. I'll show that to you in a second. Tomorrow is quiet. Hey, Wednesday, big travel day. Look at that. We love that for a Wednesday. Dry conditions and warming temperatures. Wednesday evening. This is Thanksgiving morning. This is Thanksgiving afternoon. This is a south, light south wind. This is dry. And the change has been the storm system oomph is transferring to the south. This is Friday morning. And. Good morning, Tim Lee. You even got some snow up there in Oscoda, I'm betting. This is Friday afternoon, Friday night, Saturday morning, and Saturday night. Notice that now this storm system doesn't even have enough cold with it to turn into snow on the backside. Carrot Munson, last I saw Kalamazoo was like 22 inches, so I'm guessing... Uh, you wound up with 24-ish or so. Uh, now, this is Saturday afternoon, and then notice the mild air streaming our way for the weekend. 
Uh, we are teetering between warm and cold, so at times cold can dip down. We drop to a day in the 30s, and then this is getting out there quite a ways, eight days out. Um, next Tuesday, look at that southerly flow developing Tuesday into Wednesday. Next storm system pulling up to our west in northern Minnesota. That puts us into the warm sector again. If this track were to verify, that's too far out to believe for this time of the year, but it gives you a sense of what could happen. And now we're 10 days out at almost December 1st um, with warm spell and a cold front and cold air behind it. And indeed, the question is, you know, uh, do you do you get a sustained warm spell? I would say no. One of these powerful storms would come through and pull down the cold air again. And that's typically what happens. And then at some point it settles in and is here permanently. But this kind of pattern coming up is good for those of you that just didn't get everything you needed to get done out in the yard because you'll probably see the grass again. Um, and you'll probably be able to move some equipment or some stuff around in the yard if you didn't all get to it before you got two feet of snow. All right, temperatures. Let's see here. Uh, today, we should get above the freezing mark in a lot of places. The blowing and drifting will start this morning, but by the time we get to 35, 36, that tacks the snow down. And then Tuesday, we're looking at, you know, low 40s, low to mid 40s in Detroit and Ann Arbor, uh, 39 in Grand Rapids. That helps the roads tremendously. 35 in Traverse City. That helps the roads some. Wednesday, we all get help on the roads dramatically. Uh, should be no travel problems Wednesday. Thanksgiving, 40s to low 50s in the far south. Ann Arbor, you're at 50 on Thanksgiving in the Detroit area, too. Hey, good morning, Sherry Hetrick, watching from Gladwin. Uh, it's Friday. 40s, looked like it was going to be low to mid 30s. Good morning, Levon Caraba. Um, Saturday, 40s. Sunday, 40s to low 50s. Monday, like I said, we can always get a north wind and the 40s and 50s can drop out of our area to the south into uh, Ohio and Indiana. Um, and hey, you're welcome, Minel Molesby. And then when that next storm system, you know, this is 10 days out, but some of you not ready for winter can fantasize, right? 10 days out. Um, not believable, but the pattern, if the pattern were to stick, certainly that is doable. We've had 50s to 60 in November, and it's a very, it's expected to be a very up and down winter. And I see it shaping up right now, especially if the storm track is over us. Because remember, that red L is the key to everything. The track of that red L. North and west of it, you're cold with freezing rain and a snowstorm. South and east of it, even in the middle of winter, you get into the 40s, at least. Um, so it will depend on the track of that. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you is the uh, extended forecasts are starting to show, hard to get everything on here, uh, starting to show, this is a 6 to 10 day, going warmer than normal, November 26th to 30th, normal conditions on precipitation, and then uh, November 28th to December 4th, warmer than normal. Now remember, that's meaning, you know, 35 to 45 will be easily doable with an odd mild day in there. And that storm track that I showed you out in the Pacific is probably starting to show up uh, time by the time we get into the early part of December. One last thing for you, wind gusts. We're going to be windy today, this late this morning into afternoon. 45 mile an hour wind gusts, Saginaw, the Thumb, down through the Detroit Ann Arbor area. And then that will move off in the afternoon. And by evening, six o'clock, the wind's coming down quite a bit, and by overnight, the wind's dying down to near calm. So we had some crazy weather, I will admit, um, but things are going to improve quite dramatically for the holiday period, and that's a good thing. All right, I'm going to try this Polish name. Good morning, Catherine Linaweski. 
Lenuski? I don't know. Hard. Jennifer Perez from Waterford. Good morning. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. If you're just finding us for the first time, poke around on the MLive Facebook page some, then you'll get notifications, and you'll know when I'm on live, and this is how we update you with weather. Sometimes long-winded, but hey, I figure you got your cup of coffee, you're on your couch, or you're at your office. I can keep you informed, and I don't have to worry about commercial breaks. Take care.